Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the book of Malachi. We are going to turn to Malachi chapter 3, where we've been studying and looking at our morning devotional each day. And here we are at verse 6, and we're just going to read verse 6 for this morning, as I think there's enough here to think about together just for a minute. Here's what Malachi 3 verse 6 tells us. For I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore you are not consumed, O sons of Jacob. God is telling us that the reason that we're receiving mercy is because his service is not arbitrary. His love for us is not arbitrary. He doesn't change. He's perfect in all of his ways. His kindness, his gentleness, his mercy is perfect. God doesn't have one day where he's Mr. Mr. Bad, tough guy, you know, holding us to some weird high standard over here, and another day where he's like, ah, don't worry about it, I'm, I'm busy making planets. God doesn't have a day when he's, he's more just and more righteous and le- or less just and less righteous. God is pure every day. He is righteous every day. His love is extended to his whole creation Every day, he sends the rain on the just and on the unjust. He sends the things that are needed so that we can live and actually come to him. And so even though this is a strong book, the book of Malachi, a strong warning, even a strong uh, smashback against these priests that are, that are indifferent, they are in priestly la-la land. They're off the track so far. But he's trying to bring them back, bring them back into his service where he wants them to be. And so he's reminding them, even though he's been pretty strong with them, in verse 5 we just saw yesterday morning, that was a pretty strong line to take. But he says here, I am the Lord. Hey, don't forget this. I am the Lord. I do not change. Therefore, you are not consumed. So, you know, okay, you're guilty. You are. You know it and I know it. But God is telling them, all right. You're guilty, you know it, I know it, but I want you in my kingdom. It's my good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And so God's spirit doesn't change. God's approach, his attitude, he still hates sin, he always has. He still loves righteousness, he always will, but he's also a merciful and forgiving God. And his his offers to us to forgive our sins, take away our sins, to lift that burden off of us and transform us. Those offers are new to us every morning. So every morning we want to be new to him. We want to be transformed and changed and born again every morning, renewed each day. And that's a promise that I think we see right here. I am the Lord, I do not change, therefore you are not consumed. O sons of Jacob, you believers, I will not consume you. I'm working to bring you back. I'm buying you back. I'm redeeming. Praise God. Praise God for his mercies. Praise God for his character that doesn't change in a fitful way day by day. Thankful. We can be very thankful that he doesn't consume us, even though we've departed from him so many times. Uh, He certainly is a patient God. I certainly know that very directly because of his patience with me. He will be patient with you also. Can we pray together? Dear Father in heaven, It's good to know that you are not an arbitrary God. What is right and what is wrong does not depend on the whim of the day, but it is always true. Truth is always there. Things that are unjust are always unjust. Things that are right are always right. And your mercy and kindness are there every day. Lord, bless us and help us to grow heavenward. Be our leader. We thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, God is so generous. He's so kind. How could we not give him our whole heart and worship him? God be with you today in all that you do.